All right, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan. This is Viking Designs. Speaking of designs, that's what this episode is going to be about. I wanna to try to show you guys how you can win more work, how you can level up, and how you can stand out from your competitors. So you guys kinda of know how I do quotes, how I draw it up on a tablet. So I will take measurements and I'll roughly sketch in where the deck would go, where a pergola would go. Now in today's episode, we're going to talk about turning this into this. There's a lot of people out there that struggle to visualize what you're talking about. So you might walk into the backyard and you can fucking, and you can just see it. You can see that the deck's gonna go over there and a nice little pergola's gonna come over the top of it. And it's just, it's just crystal clear to you because you do this all the time. However, you're talking with the general public and a lot of them, number one, don't have great imaginations. And number two, they, they find it super hard to visualize what you're seeing in your head. So by getting it out of your head and onto paper, it's just gonna help sell what you have to offer. And it may also be the thing that helps you secure the job. Now, this isn't suitable for every job you do. Like if the job is worth less than a couple of grand, you're not gonna spend a great deal of time designing this. However, if the job is a little more pricey, it may be worth you investing your time into, uh, into designing this. You also have plans for what you're gonna build. The client can see it, you can see it, and then you can give those plans to your guys and they can see it too. So everyone's on the same page. All right, so your options with this. I kind of feel like you can approach this three different ways. Firstly, you can just give these away. So as a sign of good faith or whatever, you can sketch these up and just give them to your clients, no charge. Um, and generally they will be fairly impressed with the effort that you took to create them. You could sell them to the client as an option or extra. So when you're out doing your quote, you would mention that for $350, you will draw up some 3D renders. And the third option, which is the one I generally do, I will tell the clients that there is a $500 design charge. However, if they decide to go with us, that $500 gets taken off the first invoice. I like this option because that way, if they do decide to take your design, but go with somebody else, you still get paid for your design. However, your client isn't as worried about their money because they think they're gonna save it off the first invoice anyway so uh, so I kind of feel like this is the win-win so like I was saying I like to draw my designs up on a tablet that way they are digitally stored and I never have to worry about losing them so my drawings will generally go through three stages the first stage is like really like the mud map this is a really really rough drawing that you will draw up when you're standing there with the client, quickly taking measurements. It enables you to reference it and make a better drawing later. Then I would move on to my second drawing. So this is when I would pull up some dotted grid paper. Okay, so we know the backyard is 10 by six, so. All right, so now we've got like a rough drawing. You would show this to the client, get their tick of approval, make sure they're happy with the layout. Once you're good with that, then we can look at turning this into a 3D render. So all you would do is save this as a PDF, JPEG or a PNG, any type of image file, get it onto your computer with Dropbox or Google Drive. And from there, we would import it into SketchUp. Go to the website, create an account with SketchUp. Once you've done that, click create new. Here's this little guy with a banjo. Doesn't look like me. Hope not. Anyway, um, <clears throat> all right. And then from there, you would drag and drop your file directly into SketchUp. So that file we quickly drew up on my tablet. 
you would just drag it and drop it straight in. There we go. It's already laying up flat, which is exactly what you want. All right, and there it is. That is our little drawing that we just created. So the first and probably the most important thing you would wanna do is set the scale. And in order to do that, you hit T for tape measure. And because we drew this up to dot paper, this is to scale. So, so what you wanna do is click on one side of the line, drag it to the other side, click there as well and then type in however many millimeters or whatever units you are using so we're using millimeters here so i would type 6000 and hit enter there's a little pop-up will appear and sketchup will ask you if you want to resize the model to those 6000 millimeters so that the 6000 millimeters on our drawing will also be 6000 millimeters in sketchup you want to say yes okay boom there we go where'd it go and now this six meters here should equal 6,000 millimeters. So let's get our tape measure, go from one end to the other. And yeah, we've got 6,001 millimeters. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate and it's, it's more than accurate enough for what we're trying to do. So now that we've set the scale, you will know that every single thing you do here will be to scale. So you've only got to do that the once. All right, let's zoom out. Now let's start drawing this out. So you can hit R for rectangle and you can just draw yourself a nice little rectangle here. Now you draw the rough shape you want and in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it tells you your dimensions and your rectangle is, uh, is now drawn to scale. Seems that my drawing wasn't, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I messed up when I was drawing it out. I actually drew six by nine. So let's let's just actually make it six by nine. So down in the bottom right hand corner, it tells you your exact measurements. And that's where you would write 9,000 millimeters by 6,000 millimeters, hit enter. And there you go. That rectangle is now six by nine. Now with the deck in the top left hand corner, once again, you would hit R for rectangle, draw it out to the edge of where you think the deck is going to go. 4.5 by 3 meters, so you would write 4,500 millimeters by 3,000 millimeters, and there we go. There is there is the size of the deck that we wanted to build. Now I've got the shape there. I just click in the area and hit delete. Click in the deck area, hit delete, and now we've got just those shapes there. Now for the garden boxes. Now is the fun part, we can use the push and pull tool. On the left hand side is where you keep all your icons and your tools, push, pull tool selected. You would click on the item you wanna push or pull, draw it up, you would type in the height that you want it to be pushed or pulled in either direction. So we wanna step it up 170 mil, so we would type 170, hit enter, and that's it right now this will be our bench seat so we will pull that up the 170 it automatically just snaps this is our garden bed we'll pull that up to the same height now above our paved area we want our garden bed to be let's say 600 so pull up type 600 hit enter you're good to go the other one will lock to it then we've got our bench seat make a bench seat 450 mil high on that one 450 high on that one. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to take some shape. We'll lift our blue stone 30 mil. That's one. Now we've got our deck here. Let's draw in some pergola posts. We'll be using 140 mil posts. Drag out. Before you click the second time, you will type the dimensions. So 140, 140 by 140. There we go. You can get a tape measure and on the outside of the post, however far you want to land. Let's call it 3.6. So now you know the, that's where the outside of the next post will be.
And now we've got the rough idea of how it is going to look. Now we can grab the paint bucket like in MS Paint days and we can start throwing some materials in. All right, so let's get some landscaping. So let's throw a bit of turf in here. Uh, let's get some, let's throw some tiles up here actually. Let's, let's tile that, put a bit of decking. Let's just paint that. We can zoom in, paint the edges of that. And yeah, we can just, and we can just paint the rest. And then we go, we got a sort of a really rough, but pretty usable 3D drawing. You can also put the shadows in. You can adjust the time of day and the date. So it's gonna give you an accurate representation of where your shadows are gonna fall. All right, and then you can convert it from this sketch up look just like a, a rough sort of drawing there's all different styles you can mess around with they just give you like an artistic sort of impression as opposed to that 3d look you know you can drop a little sky in there i kind of like when you have like a blue sky something like this looks pretty cool even drop in a bit of bloody furniture if we want See, uh, dining table so this is the 3d warehouse this is where you can find all sorts of furniture plants it just has a ton of stuff on here that you can grab and throw into your model there we go throw that on the deck there we go Fuck, how cool is that going to have a closer look oh geez look at that it's like something nice for lua probably wouldn't put that outside but um yeah there you go and yeah, that's, you know, that's our pretty basic drawing. But when you consider what we started with. I think most clients would be pretty stoked to get that from you. And that really took like no more than 10 minutes. And now you got yourself a full 3D render of your space. Everything is to scale. You can show that to your clients. You could really get carried away here and go absolutely nuts, or you can just do something super basic. All right, that is it for this episode. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. This easily could have been like a 20, 25 minute episode, but I know no one's gonna get that far through. So I tried to keep it as short as I could. Now, this wasn't really meant to be like a tutorial as such, more just like to open your eyes to the possibilities of SketchUp. It is a free program so you get a lot of value there and only thing you need to put in is some time keep an eye out in the comments below i'll link a couple of um really really good channels that teach sketchup and you can go there and learn and it won't cost you a cent anyway guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one